Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today I'm going to be doing my November releases. Let's get going. So most of these books have been released, but there are some quite I believe they have not been released yet, so let's see what those are. So my first one, which already came out on November 14, this is Wish of the Wicked by Danielle Page. For centuries, for centuries the enchanted members of the Entente have worked in tandem with the three fates the present, the past, the future, and to maintain destiny across the thirteen queendoms. But when Queen Margaret learns of her un untimely, de untimely demise from Hecate, fate of the future, Margaret burns Hecate at the stake and decrees death to all intent to, in order to live forever. But some survive, including six-year-old Pharaoh, who hatches a dangerous plan to seek revenge. Along the way, she finds herself falling from the one person who can ruin everything. With life and love hanging in the balance, she must decide who to trust and what's most important, living in the past or forging a new future. My next, bu my next book is It Will Come Out on November 28th. It is To Kill a Shadow by Catherine Quinn. June Maddox knows nothing of love or even light. He knows only his grim duty as the hand of death to lead the knights of the eternal star into a land filled with nightmares and certain demise. It's only when he sees her, a young woman with wild amber eyes, who is as fierce and defiant and swift as the shadow beasts themselves, that he feels the warmth of life in his blood. The other knights may fear the lethal commander with his hard, merciless demeanor. Alcus Kyra Frey sees only a leader, a man who knows how to survive, someone like her. But wanting him as a treacherous as the shadows themselves and just as seductive. With the kingdom on the verge of collapse, the knights must now venture into the dark, darkest heart of the land and uncover the secrets of the misted shadows, where evil will prey upon their minds and feast on their flesh. So my next one that has already came out, which is on November 9th, that is Sisters of Sword and Shadow by Laura Bates. One of the knights of the round table had been women. This afternoon, Cass's older sister will be married. Soon she will be too. Gone will be days of running through fields and feeling the earth between her toes. So when a beautiful little clad woman rises up and offers to take her away, Cass doesn't hesitate to join her. Cass is introduced to the sisterhood of Silk Knights, a group of women training to fight and working to right the wrongs of men. Cass is drawn into a world of ancient feuds, glorious battles, and deadly intrigue, was soon discovered she holds a power that could change the destiny of her sisterhood. So this is a retail of um, Arthur, King Arthur, so this will be interesting, I would say. So I'm not sure how Jenny Ben work, is going to work for this one, but it will be interesting. My next one that has already came out, November 11th, that is the Holy Academy of Witches by Alora Black and Freya Gray. Adeline and Sage, two teenage witches, find themselves on the same side of a rising conflict in the dark halls of the Holy Academy of Witches. In a place where no religious power and secrets are currency, can they overcome their own demons when trust is luxury or not even old money can buy? Sometimes the most powerful magic, magic was not in the spells they cast, but in the bonds formed along the way. And my last one in will ever come out on November 28th, and it is a retail of the Nutcracker. And that is The Kingdom of Sweets by Erica Johansson. Light and dark, this is a destiny placed upon Natasha and Clara, the birthright bestowed by the godfather, the mysterious sorcerer Jocelyn Mayer. Clara, the favorite, grows into beauty and ease while Natasha is cursed to live in her sister's shadow. But one fateful Christmas Eve, Natasha gets her chance of revenge. But Jocelyn Mayer has bought the Nutcracker, an enchanted person that offers entry into a deceptively beautiful world, the Kingdom of Sweets. In this land of snow and sugar, Natasha is presented with a power far greater than Jocelyn Mayer, the Sugar Plum Fairy, who is also full of gifts and dreadful bargains. As Natasha covers the dark destiny laid before her birth, she must reckon with powers both earthly and magical, and decide to which world she truly belongs. So also on November 28th, I do have one more. It's the Witch Born Not by Olivia Atwater. The fairies of Witch Born Manor have stolen its young lord. His governess intends to steal him back. 
Victorian governess Winnie Flynn Hall knows the con when she sees one. When a bloody young child transforms overnight into a perfectly behaved block of wood, she soon realizes that the real boy has been abducted by the fairy folk. Unfortunately, the Lord of Witchwood Manor is the only man in England who doesn't believe in fairies, which leaves Winnie in the unenviable position of rescuing the young lord to be all by herself. Witchwood Manor is bigger than its inhabitants realize, however, and full of otherworldly dangers. As Winnie delves deeper into the other side of the house, she enlists at the aid of its dark and dubious fairy butler, Mr. Quincy, who hides several awful secrets behind his charming smile. Winnie hopes to make her way to the center of the Witchwood not through wit and cleverness. But when all of her usual tricks fail, who will she dare to trust? So those are all the books that I am excited for November. Let me know what you guys wanting to see for November. And please like, comment, subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. I will see you in my next one. Bye!